we have a number of different chips in, in the, on the hardware, so we'll come back to you with that later on. It's, it's one of those that I wouldn't like to say get it wrong. So I'd I'm like just to check interested in. because the camera is doing so many things for this yeah. really high-end kind of um, So we, we have, we have a separate multimedia chip on the, the, the difference with a lot of phones is they come with one chip. We actually have a separate multimedia chip which is running the, 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 the camera and running other things as well. So okay. it doesn't actually interfere with the action of the phone because that's being run by other chipset. So you have its own multimedia chip which is running all the multimedia sections of the phone. How do you like Fine. Fine. No, we can't do that. Is that it's what it says in the box? Yeah. 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 No, no, it says. Are you good, actually? Yeah. 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 I'll, I'll take it. Oh, that's good. So, that's better than that one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what we've actually um, said, again, it's funny how it happens that this always comes up. And I know that from my own perspective, you can say it with things like it depends how much you use it and what you use it for. And, and let's be honest, it's got a lot on there that will actually take some battery life. Not the phone, not texting, not this, that, the other, but some rich features that will drain battery quicker than others. If you use a lot of that, then it will drain. But don't forget, this is a phone that's going to be wanting to perhaps um, synchronize with the PC. It's going to be charged while it's doing that. You're going to be um, seeing, I think, many, many different ways in which it will actually receive charge through the day. And I would say, from my own perspective, a mobile phone user of some years now, um, that I don't even think about that. I, I just do it. I actually just go home, plug it in, overnight, plug it. I just don't even think about it. But I know that you guys have got to write about it because it's a feature functionality piece that is compatible. And so if you get this huge um, briefcase size thing that will never ever die down, that's a feature of it. But there's something that's this big smallest 8 megapixel camera phone that's out there, and you'd expect that to be slightly different to that. USB Can I ask you questions about... Yeah, USB charges in the box. In the yeah, about geotagging. So, one, oh, my, my expert, one, one of my major thing. complaints with the fact that you have these handsets which are really smart, and they can geotag and overlay them to a new exit field, is that as soon as you then convert that or resize it using the MMS function, you lose all the exit bit. So in fact, you've got all this rich functionality, which then through a basic protocol and trying to strip all of that value out, at the point that you try to send it to the internet. So my position is that people like Moxie might know about this, but do you know about this? Have you thought about it? Uh, I, I think the honest answer to that question is I, I can't answer that today. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's, very honest. No, um, <laughs> it's a tough one. It's, it's tough so one. obvious. It's, it's, yeah, I mean, but it's something to do with the really basic thing around Absolutely. I mean, I think well, isn't it to do with MMS? Um, most operators restrict that to 100k. I know it's been increased it's to, to 300 the resizing, resizing but and the resizing deletes the metadata, you're yeah. right. But if you find a method to upload using HTTP, then you should be fine. You should with an 8 megapixel camera? Well, <laughs> 16 megapixel yeah, camera. I mean, the operators <laughs> have got a lot to do with the network when it comes to that. Because the up channel is commonly very, very slow. I agree, but I think that there's an on-device problem. I don't think it's network. Can I just ask someone to make a note of that question? Uh, I, yeah. I will come back to you with an answer to that. Great. If not before the next of these Brilliant. forums. Okay. Brilliant, thank you. We're having that next before. year, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, we do want to, if we can't answer a question, uh, then we will come back to you. I think I'm waiting before. to ask that question. Some of them are very straight Why did you wait till now? Further in Alfie's question, um, do I have to actually take the, take the picture off the phone and put it on my computer to upload? Or is there any way I can upload it from within the handset? Without, without resulting in something like MMS. You have Wi-Fi? But can I, can, so, so, for example, yeah, you can push it like like or I mean, like, can, I, can I push you the can, you can, you can, you Depending on the, the software variant of the network operator, you can actually upload directly videos to YouTube or um, images to Blogger, Flickr, or or a of take a photo, push a button, and yeah. it's on Flickr. In fact, the thing you can prompts, when you've done some video, you actually probably want to send it to you. Yeah, it's one of the options I'd say you send and this kind of stuff, so you just follow the process. But he's biting his fist. Software. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, there's something that operates to be able to disable in their own version. I haven't seen all of the software variants for each of the operators, so I don't know if any of them has actually turned off. but. I know with Beauty, some of the operators did select not to have some of the functionality on it. And so hey guys, I'm afraid we are subject to their whims on a yeah, variety of things. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 the, 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 operators, it's, well, the operators are getting smarter now. They recognize the benefits yeah. of these social networking sites and therefore they're not, 
but not so interested in trying to direct their own the, the data through their own portals to these things. They are happier these days to go direct to, and in some cases they're actually asking us to, to build bespoke applications to access these sites from, for their software. I think it's one area where the networks are getting a bit more savvy. And that's not to say there aren't a few where they're actually just getting more entrenched. We, 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 we such a media capable phone. Are you partnering with any content providers or, or indeed producing your own so that for consumers to consume audio or video? There'll be. We do this from time to time and at different stages in the life cycle of a product. You might go to a games company and say, let's put something on. And it's often done to extend the life of the product or for a promotion with a particular network or a particular retailer. I, I, was, thinking, I was thinking more when you buy an iPhone, you buy your music through iTunes. Yeah. When you buy Nokia, you get music that comes from music. When you buy yeah. Sony Ericsson, you get their new on the phone yeah. uh, music product. Um, where are people going to source the media that, that this phone is going to be so good at displaying and playing? Oh, okay. I mean, this will be network. But I can answer it from a, from a Dolby standpoint. We improve all of the audio content through the music player. So it, it doesn't really matter where you source it from. You can switch the Dolby features on, onto that. So we're kind of agnostic of the format, if that, that's a way to describe that. And it's the same with DivX as well. I mean, that's a perfect content to play on this device, and it's free available across the net. You don't have to go to Dropkit to get the content. You don't have to go to Samsung. You don't have to go to You can just, anywhere off the net, you can take down whatever you want to do and put it on this device. So I, mean, I, don't think that's, I don't think that's a bad thing, but for uh, maybe less technically savvy users, sometimes they need a helping hand to go to one place where the content is already collected for you and says, actually, here's all, here's all your video that's actually you know, relevant to your yeah. device. Here is the collection of DivX media. Yeah. Yeah. Amazon has boxes. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I think yeah, if I can ask that one just in a sort of roundabout way. We touched on our digital web engagement yeah. strategy in the last yeah. quarter. Yeah, and we will be launching, as I said, the 1.5 version within the next sort of four weeks. We'll be launching the 2.0 version in January or February early next year. And I think when we get to that point, then due to the relationships that we're forming, whether it's through you know, music, video, film content, that is when we're going to start looking to get data which we can put onto that site, which can then be shared directly from that site to the devices. Mostly due to the size of it, it might be going through a computer through USB rather than over the air. But um, there's definitely lock in is bad, but enablers are good. And so you know having the choice to go to one to a choice site or yeah. partner site that's recommended and certified. Right. And just you know, also we're also developing a site for sharing content as well, um, which is you know it's going to be Open platform, just to be an LG user. Um, and then that again will be launching in Q4 this year. Does that mean you're making a play for Nokia? No, no, it doesn't. No. What we're trying to do is yeah, we're very, very conscious that mobile phones are probably the most popular digital camera on the market. What we need to do is provide consumers, not just LG users, but a wider audience, the opportunity to have a, a community where they can share, upload, comment on. And, and vote to win prizes on other people's photography and images. And as we go through the year, we'll be utilizing this this site, this source, this community to grow the LG brand, obviously communicate the functionality of the devices, but also utilize um, for sort of consumer generated imagery into development of advertising campaigns. So that we can say, you can imagine you're at a football game one weekend, uh, you're all there with your mates, so it takes a photograph, upload to you walk outside, you're walking down the high street, and then suddenly you see on cross panels your images. So you know, that user generated content, we're trying to sort of close the loop on it's not just about taking an image, it's just about taking that image, sharing it, utilizing that into user generated content, which is all about driving an event, which you can then take another photograph or another video about, and then continue, continue the sort of promotion so that we can just do something more. To, to encourage people to, to share and most more importantly to upload their up on the device to 